Section 3.2, Working with Derivatives. This section will look at the graphs of derivatives and the continuity. Graphs of the derivative. Recall the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Example one, use the graph of the function to sketch the graphs of the derivative. There are four line segments. Each line segment has different slope. The first line segment is defined from negative five to negative two, and the slope is negative one. The second line segment is defined from negative two to zero, and the slope is positive one. The third line segment is defined from zero to two, the slope is negative one. And the last line segment defined from two to five, and the slope is positive one over three. On the right graphing area, we are going to sketch the graph of the y prime. Let's use the scale, the scale one for the x and make it larger for the y prime. Since we have the lowest number as one over three, let's make this increment as one. This is negative one. This two, and this is four negative two, negative four. So the first line segment, the slope is negative one from negative five to negative two. So negative five, empty circle, negative two. Recall y prime is the slope. And the second line segment from negative two to zero, the slope is positive one. The third line segment from zero to two, the slope is negative one. The last line segment from two to five, the slope is one over three. So the right graph is the graph of the derivative of the function provided. Part B, we are given the curve graph to sketch the graph of the y prime. As you see, the slope of the tangent line represents the y prime or the derivative. For the curve graph like this, I recommend you to start at the point x that slope is zero or have the horizontal tangent. In this case, m equals zero for x equals negative five, zero and five, five, zero and five. And on the left side of negative five, M is positive because the graph is rising. X is less than negative five, M is greater than zero. And also from zero, from zero to five as well. And the graph is decreasing. This is positive side, positive side, negative side, or M is less than zero for X between negative five and zero. Also for X greater than five. To suggest the graph for the rest of them, M greater than zero, that means the graph is increasing. M less than zero means the graph is, is uh, decreasing or falling. So for X less than negative five, the graph is increasing. It's gonna be the value of the slope positive. Between negative five and zero, the graph is negative. And back to zero when X equals zero. Between zero and five, the graph is rising again and back to zero when x equals five. And after five, or where x greater than five, the slope is negative. So it's gonna be going down. Part C, we are given the discontinuous functions. To suggest the graph, let's consider each graph within the big 
picture there. So the left side, if you look at the last portion on the left, if you keep going on the graph here, as x approaches infinity, negative infinity, the y or the slope, the slope of this curve is approaching zero. So y prime or the m approaching zero. As x approaches negative two from the left, the y prime approaching, as you see, the graph is falling down, falling down and get steeper and steeper, get closer and closer to negative two. So the y prime or the slope getting closer to the large quantity, but in the negative sign because the graph is negative. So this side m negative. And then the next side of the value negative two or negative two positive. The graph is rising. So the y prime approaching positive sign, but approaching positive infinity because it's coming from the very steep graph and get closer and closer to the horizontal slope over here. When x equals zero, the y prime equals zero because you see the horizontal tangent. And then next part, as x approaches one from the left side, this portion, the graph is decreasing. So y prime approaching negative sign, negative infinity. The last piece of the graph, as x approaches one positive, y prime or the slope, if you move along the graph, as you see, the y is decreasing. So y prime is negative in sign or negative slope, but when it gets very close to one from positive side, the y prime is approaching negative infinity and remain negative in sign when x approaches positive infinity. If you keep going with the curve here, you can see y prime or the slope toward the end of the graph here, the slope approaching zero. From analyzing each side, each piece of the graph, we can put together to obtain the graph of the derivative. So for the graph approaching negative, uh, x approaches negative infinity, the slope approaching zero. But on the left side of negative two, the graph or the slope approaching negative infinity. That looks the same or close to the same behavior as the original graph. In the middle piece here, for the slope of the graph, as x approaches negative two positive, the slope is positive in sign, but very large quantity, gonna be on the other side, but from the top and remain positive. So the graph is above the x axis. It approaches the slope zero when x is zero. And then when, when uh, x, approaches one negative, the slope is negative, but very, very large quantity. On the right side of the line x equals one, or as x approaches one positive, the slope is negative in sign and very steep. As x approaches infinity, the slope approaches zero, but for the entire graph in this area, the m or the slope is less than zero. So it remains on the portion below the x-axis.